Yeah, thank you. Well, I was here in uh, 2010 to talk to you. And what I have to say is, in a sense, not that much different of what you have heard. But what I'm really here to tell you is that think about you, your life, your existence. Who are you? Each one of you is unique. There is no two people alike on the face of this earth. Do you know that? Not even identical twins are exactly the same. They're different. That means that each one of you has a unique lamp within you. You are here for something. You are here for something. Find it. Find why you are here. What potential and possibility do you have? Right now, you look at your circumstance, you look at your environment, you say, well, here I am, you know, this isn't very nice, or this isn't this, or this isn't that. No. Don't compare your potential with what is happening on the outside. You must learn to recognize what is happening on the inside. This is when you begin to stand on your own feet. This is when you begin to live. Not on the outside, but on the inside. On the inside. That's where your reality is. That's when you become truly you. And regardless of your circumstances, regardless of what is happening on the outside, regardless, there is a sweet, beautiful reality waiting to be discovered inside. Each one of you carries that lamp so that if it is lit, that there doesn't need to be darkness in your life. But what comes and destroys everything? You know what it is? Doubt. The time has come in your life to stop doubting. And start knowing. Knowing that you too have that lamp in your heart. Knowing that you are here for a reason. Knowing that you are the only angel that can perform the miracle in your life. Do you know what is common to every single human being on the face of this earth? Do you know what is common? Do you know what is common? You were born, you are alive, and one day you have to die. Everybody. Rich, not an issue. Poor, not an issue. 
Educated, not an issue. Non-educated, not an issue. Believer in God, not an issue. Atheist, not an issue. French, not an issue. American, not an issue. Canadian, not an issue. Every single human being say, shares these three things. And one more. And one more. The coming and the going of this breath. Death is powerful. Powerful. This breath is more powerful. You know why? Because it is the blessing from God to you. That's what life is. It's a blessing. Are you free? Are you free? See? Mixed questions. Where does freedom begin? It begins with you. I think there, there are people who think they are free, but they're not. They're not. And there are people who say, look, of course I am free. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. And they don't realize that they're locked up in a tiny cell in which there is nothing but repetition every single day. Freedom. Find your freedom, and it begins with you. It begins with you. Find your peace. It begins with you, not with somebody else. And stop doubting. Stop doubting your potential, your reality, your lamp that you carry inside of you. Every single human being has been placed on the face of this earth with a special mission. Do you know yours? Maybe the mission is to make someone smile. Is that a terrible mission? No, it's a beautiful mission. It is maybe to bring somebody happiness for 30 seconds. Is that a terrible mission? Maybe it is to help somebody in this journey of life, for half a second, is that a terrible mission? It's not. It's not. You have those possibilities. Do you doubt them? Of course you do. Should you doubt them? No. And that's the decision you have to make every single day. Because that is what living consciously means. Every single day you have to decide what is this day going to be. Be like. And I don't mean just you. <laughs> but this is what I tell everybody. 
Nobody has been sent on the face of this earth alone. Peace is with you. The blessing is with you. Instead of looking out there, look in here. And you will also find the freedom is in you. The freedom. You know, I'm not telling you to stop thinking. I'm not telling you to stop thinking. I'm just telling you to start thinking a different way. Because maybe up till now, all you thought about was what you don't have. You need to start thinking about what you do have. And what you have is immeasurable. Immeasurable. I only talk from my heart of what I know of what I feel, what I know to be true. I want you to do the same. Feel your goodness. Feel your beauty. Feel your joy from within your heart. Don't doubt it, trust it. And you too, will understand what I'm talking about. It was a great honor for me to be able to come here again. And I hope in some little way this helps you. Helps you lighten that lamp. Helps you in your life You know, it isn't just about making it out of here. It is once you are out of here, staying out of here. And I know that right now, you probably could swear up and down you will never come back again. Till you go on the outside, Because you got to think consciously. You've got to be conscious. It was the unconsciousness that landed you here. It is the consciousness that is going to keep you out of here. That's the only way. It's the only way. I tell this to everyone. Even people who are not in prison, live your life consciously. Understand the gifts that you have been given. Accept those gifts that you have been given. And don't doubt. You have the power to change. You have the power to transform. Transform. Use it. What else are you going to use it for? You can't, you can't make flowers grow with it. All you can do, the power to transform, is transform yourself. So use it to transform yourself. To fulfill that purpose in your life. I'd just like to thank you for having found the time to come here and talk to us. Um, you've given me a lot of perspective on life, to look at things from a totally different angle. So there's been a mind change in my head, which has been very, I'm very grateful for. Thank you very much for coming. You're welcome. Good afternoon. It's a great honor to meet you now. I have learned a lot with you. A lot. I've learned about that inner peace that you talk about. And now that inner peace is within me, but before I couldn't feel that. And that is just like you say, 
que no hay que tener acá la paz interior solamente. That Afuera we también. need inner peace not only in here but Voy outside too. Paso. So I will follow your steps. Eso sí. Good, good. Y muchas gracias. And thank you so much. You're most welcome. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you very much for coming. It was my honor, my privilege to come talk to you today. And uh, thank you.